Hello students, I hope you all are fine. Uh, today we will learn about linear algebra module uh, using NumPy. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is open your ideal shell and import NumPy as NP. Thank you, my caps lock was on. So import NumPy as NP. And for a linear algebra module, I require an array. So I'll make an array. NP dot array. Suppose I take uh, 1 comma 1 comma 1. And 1 comma 2 comma 3. One comma four comma say nine. Okay. Now, for linear algebra module, there is uh, a different function already known as a lin alg. Okay. So, I'll write a i n v equal to n p dot lin alg okay dot inv of a okay so a i n v hence it is produced an array uh, after linear algebra using linear algebra uh, function we have seen that an array is generated so I can also find out NP dot a comma AINB okay it's very simple if I want to see how linear algebra works in case of uh, equations, then uh, let us see in a detailed format. Well, I share my screen. Uh, please pardon my handwriting. Well, I have taken three equations. Uh, first is... Uh, this uh, x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 equal to 1. I have taken another equation 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equal to 2. And the third equation is 3x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 equal to 1. Now, this can be represented in the form of matrix where we can say that it is like AX equal to B format where A is the 3 cross 3 matrix. I've taken all the coefficients of the respective variables and this X is uh, another matrix of X1, X2, X3. It's a column matrix and B is another column matrix of the constants which is uh, one two and one so this can be done with the help of linear algebra solve uh, command which is there in uh, numpy so we have just seen how we can use lin alg, alg function and this will be used to solve these three equations that is, these are linear algebra equations and we are going to solve it. So we'll use lin al solve for this, okay? So moving back to our ideal shell. So over here, is my screen visible to you all? Okay. So now I can say, already I've imported NumPy. So the next step for me would be A equal to NP dot array. 
I have to create an array with the coefficients, okay? Uh, because I have to form that matrix. So one comma two comma one, sorry, it was minus one, I suppose. And uh, I have two comma one comma four. And the final equation was three comma three comma four. Is it so? Just check for me once. Yes, okay. Now my B matrix will be NP dot array one comma two comma one and I'll be using lin al solve uh, function for solving this equations. So I'll be writing np dot lin alc dot solve. Okay. A comma B. This is so simple. And you get the answer of the, so, uh, the three equations. And it is given to you that uh, the values of uh, respective x1, x2, and x3 after the solve would be 7, minus 4, and minus 3. Sorry, minus 2. Now we can also uh, do one more thing over here. x is equal to np dot. I can just introduce one more function over here. Lin al dot in of a comma b and check uh, my answer for x whether it's tallying with the answer just that I got over here okay just want to see whether this answer that using the np linear solve I have got x value of x as x1 as 7 x2 as minus 4 x3 as minus 2 so whether I'm getting the values as like that I'll check with the help of this uh, line this one I just uh, actually made the command into a single line and now if I say x and enter I get the same result okay I hope uh, how to use the linear algebra module is quite clear to you if you have any queries then kindly uh, post your questions and I will put forward some more um, examples on linear algebra for you all to practice okay Thank <laughs> you.